Jasper Johns, born in 1930, is an American painter and printmaker. He is best known for his paintings of the American flag. The original idea to paint a flag came to him in a dream. He also often depicts camouflaged letters and numbers with rich painterly backgrounds and surfaces. Jasper Johns used the same subjects over and over again to create continuous series. Let's take a moment and look at a few more of his paintings to inspire us as we begin our own Jasper Johns number. Let's go ahead and get started. Beginning with the end in mind, we're gonna take a number and start doing our own printmaking. Let's begin by making a few prints. You're gonna take at one of the stations a tool and dip it into your paint and start printing your page. Completely fill the whole entire page with that item that's printed again and again throughout the whole page. There'll be different stations set up for you to travel to. The whole page is completely filled with that print. Another example is taking a fork and making some prints. A third, a cup, or a toilet paper roll, or a cardboard roll. Fourthly, a marker. Look at all the interesting prints you can make with some different materials you have around. Once it's dry, take your prints and start making your number onto your page. Follow the guidelines to help you draw your bubble letters. You'll begin with your number onto your paper. Start out with a stick letter. Once it says a stick letter, draw it nice and big, filling up the whole page. It's important to get the page completely full. Also, draw a light until you've got it right. Now that you've got your number, Let's take a moment and cut it out. Before you cut it, take your black oil pastel and go over the bubble that you created in pencil. If your stick letter is too, or stick number is too dark, just take, take an eraser and erase the stick letter inside. You want to cut around your number that you created as a bubble letter. Feel free to show Mrs. Foxen before you cut it just to make sure that your bubble letter is nice and thick. There, now I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to trace and create my shadow. Why I trace around my number is so that I have an area that I can create that shadow so that you see some contrast between your number and your background. So this is a chalk pastel. It is like a piece of charcoal, a piece of black that are you are going over your pencil lines that you traced. This is, like I said, gonna be a chalk dusty material that you can spread to create that shadow. Once you go around your pencil lines with your black, keep it nice and dark, and then using your finger, smear those colors into your background. If you're not finding that your shadow is dark enough, just add a little bit more chalk pastel, or uh, chalk onto your paper and smear it again until you get that value nice and dark. Remember, you're not, your goal is not to color the page completely all black. Your goal is just to create a shadow. So I'm taking my black and pressing that off to the side. If you don't want to use your finger, you could also just use a towel. If you find areas, again, that are not dark enough, add a little bit more chalk, brush it on down, and then put your number into its place. Lastly, let's take some glue and glue that down where it belongs.